Let's go over some common transponder codes. We all know 1200, which is the VFR or visual flight rules code used by aircraft operating under VFR in the US and other regions. Over in Europe, by the way, they use code 7000. It's kind of interesting. This is the default code 1200 for VFR flights when no other code has been assigned by ATC. However, we as pilots, we have some discrete codes that we can plug into the transponder to let ATC know that we may not be able to communicate, but there is a situation going on board. For example, hijacking 7500 indicates that the aircraft is experiencing a hijacking. ATC will respond by asking the pilot to confirm the code. If the code is correct, they will follow special procedures to manage the situation discreetly. 7600 is used when an aircraft has lost communications with ATC due to radio failure. ATC will attempt to reestablish communications and provide instructions through other means, such as light signals or relay through other aircraft if possible. 7700 indicates a general emergency on board. For example, the aircraft engine failure, fire, medical emergency. This code alerts all ATC facilities in the area, triggering an immediate response to assist the aircraft. 7777 is used for military intercept operations. They're reserved for military use, indicating an aircraft involved in interception operations. Squawk ident is a term used for your transponder. Not a code, but it's a request by ATC for the pilot to press the ident button on the transponder. This causes the aircraft radar to return a flash on the controller's radar screen, making it easier to identify the aircraft. During IFR flight or when receiving flight following services under VFR, ATC will assign a unique squawk code to the aircraft. The pilot enters this code into the transponder to help ATC track and identify the aircraft. You will be asked about these on the check ride for sure. So let's just go through a quick recap. 1200 is VFR, 7500 hijacking, 7600 radio failure, 7700 is a general emergency, 7777 is military intercept procedures. Memorize these codes. You will be asked about these on the check ride. Hey, if you enjoyed this video and you want to learn more, I've got a free course to get you started with helicopters. Check out the link in the description.